Charles Hugh Smith is an economist and author with over 20 million readers of his works worldwide. In this snippet of our interview, we talk about the importance of accrediting yourself in the modern economy. So, um, so Charles, um, on the topic of careers, um, you, you're talking about personal empowerment. Um, and in the book that you wrote here, um, you know, uh, what is it? Take charge, get a job, build a real career, defy a bewildering economy. It seems like you're talking about these, these ideas where you're, you're taking charge. So I guess my first question is, like, what, where is that kernel for, for taking charge of your life? Where's the, where's the beginning of that? I think the beginning of it is to um, do what I say, uh, what I call a credit yourself. In other words, um, the conventional view is you need to get a credential from somebody else that's going to say you know how to do X, Y, Z, and which is presumably valuable in in in, in the marketplace. And so, but but this um, that whole conventional uh, view has has a real big problem. And if you're an employer. You know the problem. Just somebody showing you their their um, CV, you know their their resume or their their degree, it doesn't really communicate what they actually know how to do, mm-hmm. and it doesn't really tell you um, the level of their social capital. And and social capital is our you know economics term for for how you collaborate with other people, the the how easily you communicate with other people, the the contacts you you can make. And so this is, of course, a, a key um, part of our value as, as a worker is our human capital is what we know how to do. Our social capital is how well we work with other people. Mm. So, you, so what I suggest to people is, is to take control of your career or your life. First, start thinking about how can you accredit yourself. In other words, don't just tell somebody what you can do. Show them what you can do. And so... There are, you know, in my view, the, the easiest way to do this is to have like a website where you post the projects you've completed. You get um, verification or accreditation from individuals who are known um, and respected in, in your field. And so then a potential employer or collaborator can go to your, your website and go, oh, wow, they've actually done this. I can see the project they completed. I don't have to like trust that their degree in marketing mm-hmm. it, is, has value or not. And, and, um, this, uh, one of the key VPs, um, in, in Google is named Lazlo Bach and, uh, he's coming out with a book on, on their hiring because Google uh, feels that, um, that hiring is, is everything. In other words, that's, that's the entire business proposition for any company is hiring. So they're very careful about it and they've discovered that the typical credentials like your grade point average or your, your the degrees you hold they don't really have any correlation to your productivity as a worker in Google. And so they're, they're starting to hire people that have no college degree. They've completely um, discarded that whole um, idea that academic performance has anything to do with your performance as a worker because they didn't find any correlation. They ran all these, these numbers and, 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 and stats and found there was virtually no correlation between somebody's academic success and their, their um, performance in Google. So um, that's fascinating. So I mean, I guess you know, the, when I was reading um, through some of the reviews of, of the book that I mentioned um, in this segment here, you know, I, uh, people were, were, were loving it. I mean, and, and I personally, actually, you know, just just for what it's worth, um, I feel like you know, coaching and people like Tony Robbins for for a while were considered these kind of hokey. Um, you know, parts of, of, of our society. And now more and more, I think this message of empowerment and turning people on to being empowered is seen as really valuable. But it's not something that is, that like can be, you can't just go to a class on that. And so I guess to, to really build on this, I'm wondering, the only criticism I read in the reviews is like, that, that being empowered and taking charge is great for these people who, who have passion and feel comfortable with taking charge of their life already. So what would you tell to the person who's timid, um, who maybe has something to risk, like, like you know, their income stream is subsidizing their, their, their kids or, or whatever, something like that? Well, I think there's definitely a place um, for um, jobs that are reliable. In other words, these would be um, government you know, or state jobs. 
or um, jobs in the corporate sector that are, are typically controlled by the government, which would be health care, national defense, these kinds of things. These jobs are quite secure. And for people that um, are juggling, you know, two or three uh, children and, and trying to I don't have time to, to uh, enrich their lives. And clearly you want a nine to five job and mm-hmm. better yet, a nine to five job with, with flex time. So you can work um, nine hours a day for a week and then take an extra day off or, you know, and so if for, for those people, I would say, try to find an employer who is sensitive to these needs uh, of the family. Okay. And so, and, and so, and there's nothing wrong with um, putting your, you know, your passion on hold and just um, finding a job that's, that's steady, reliable. And then my advice beyond that is don't get over your head in debt to where you need two incomes to survive. You know, keep your expenses always, always, always below your income so that if your hours are cut or one of the, uh, one of the, um, the working members in the family lo- loses their job, that you're not um, suddenly under tremendous financial stress. Mm-hmm. And then, so I guess, I guess the thing is, I mean, do you just think that that it's important for for for, for a certain amount of honesty to be there? That you know you are going to be performing a function, and that maybe like in this term, in this idea of accre- accrediting yourself, that you know, like may- maybe that's that maybe in this case you're just trying to do the best that you can at that job versus building up a lot of capital in there. Or do you, would you say go for it, try to make a difference anyway? Well, I, you know, and this is just based on my experience, and I'm only one person, so I'm, you know, I may be missing something. But even people in like um, admin assistant levels, or you know, the the lower echelons of of our sort of white collar um, office type jobs, it's still important to accredit yourself in the sense that if you worked well with um, a manager, then don't just assume the manager is going to write something good about you um, when you have to move on. You know. Um, and, and why would you have to move on? Well, corporations close divisions. You know, it has mm-hmm. nothing to do with you as an individual, that the workforce is, is just um, is more fluid now. And so you have to anticipate that you may need to get another job. And so get the manager to say something about, you know, good about you in, in writing while you have the job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, and document the projects that you've helped um, other people complete, even at the level of, of admin assistant. And, and so what I see people struggling with is they, um, when they have to get another job, they have no documentation themselves except the resume and whatever um, credential they may, have, they may have earned. And this is just not enough for an employer to realize your true value. Mm-hmm. You know, you kind of have to make the case for yourself, not by bragging or anything, but just by documenting the things that you've helped see through. And um, so that, that's my basic recommendation for, for everyone, timid or or passionate, um, and um, is 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 document what you have been successful doing, and that's what people want to know. All right, thanks, Charles. So I think that'll wrap up the interview. I really appreciate your time. Great, my pleasure.